Bree here from Etched Actuarial and in today's video I'm doing something a little different. I'm giving you a behind the scenes look at the study strategy program. So for those of you that don't already know what the study strategy program is, it is the program where I help people writing exam P and FM to pass their exam. I help them step by step through the process and go through exactly what they need to do each and every day so that by the time exam day comes, they're fully prepared. Now, I really think a program like this is awesome and I know I'm a little biased, but I do because when I was studying for actuarial exams, I didn't have the accountability so I often fell behind on my studying and I really didn't know what I needed to do. So having a program like this where someone can actually show you what you need to do, someone that has already passed the exams and has helped tons of other, pa tons of other people pass them too, well, it's an awesome resource to have someone like that because then you know that you're on the right track. Another thing that's really awesome about being in the program is just that I'm able to monitor you personally and see how you're doing. And based on how you're doing, I can adjust your studying and your study strategy and just what you're doing so that by the time exam day comes, you're fully prepared. Like when you've never written an actual exam, you don't really know how well prepared you have to be. You don't really know how difficult to expect the exam to be and whether you are in a good spot. So being in the study strategy program really gives you an edge and just an advantage over other people that are studying for the exam just because you have all that knowledge and expertise and people and a community of others helping you pass the exam. Okay, so I wanna show you all the behind the scenes of the study strategy program. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so once you join the study strategy program, you are going to see this page. And on this page, you'll see the welcome video. So that's just a video for anyone that joins to watch and explains kind of how to get started and of course welcomes you to the study strategy program. And in that video, it will explain that you should fill out this questionnaire and you'll just click that button. The questionnaire just tells me everything that I need to know about you and your personal situation, what study materials you're using, uh, I'll know when you want to start studying and, and just a whole bunch of information like that so that I can create your personalized study strategy. So once the date comes that you've decided you want to start studying on, you will get an email that lets you know your study strategy is ready and it will lead you to here, the study strategy links page. Now on this page, there's another video for you to watch about getting started and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of links to members study strategies here. So you'll just click the link that corresponds to your name. I'm going to give you an example with Peter Piper. This is not a real person in the study strategy program. I made it up because I didn't want to put real people, real members information on here, but we will come back to this later. So I just want to finish going through the other sections of the program. Okay, next you'll come to the Q&A community, and this is the place where you can get all your math-related questions answered. So if you have a question about anything regarding the exam P SOA practice problems, you can see there's tons of people asking questions there and getting answers, TIA questions, ASM questions, or ACTEX questions, and then down below there are some places where you can ask SOA practice problem questions related to exam FM and TIA, ASM. See, in this program, I help people, like my team and I, help people with any problems that they're having. It doesn't matter what source you're getting your questions from. It doesn't matter about anything. If you need help figuring out the math on some kind of question, here is where you're asked and we can help you with anything. So, Next is, oh, and I do try to get back to everyone within 24 hours. We pretty much do that all the time. So 24 hours at the most, you'll have an answer to your question in the Q&A forum. And next, I have a bunch of study strategy videos. So these will go through how to go through your study material for the first time, uh, how to do your review days, how to do practice problems and practice exams. So I'm not going to go into all of these, but I will just go into one as an example. 
So pretty much there's a video for each of those on the study strategy related to whatever you're looking at. So this is for review and just a little summary of everything in the video. So that gives you just some further insight in how to do your review days properly and so that you structure them the best way possible. And yeah, so that is all the different sections of the study strategy program. Now I want to just go quickly and kind of briefly so this is just Peter Piper's study strategy. Like I said, this isn't a real person. I just made it up for the purposes of this video. So Peter Piper, here's his exam. He's writing for the third, he's writing exam P for the third time. He's going to start studying in on July 30th. He is going to write within the November exam window, which is from the third to the 14th. He's using the ACTEC study manual to study and he does qualify for the pass guarantee as well. I'll talk about that more at the end of this video if you're interested. Um, he's also decided to take break days on Sunday and Saturday. So this just goes through an overview of all the different things that Peter has told me. Well, not everything, but a lot of the stuff that Peter has told me goes here so that we both have easy access to it if it needs to be changed or if I need to look at the details of Peter's study plan. Next, we'll go into the important links tab. So this just gives Peter a uh, quick links to everything that he's going to need to use in the study strategy program. There's not a whole bunch to show here. It's just links. Next, we'll go into the hourly schedule. So this can be really helpful if you have trouble figuring out when you're actually going to fit studying in. I know that's a big issue. It was for me because you just have so many other things going on and fitting in studying doesn't always happen easily. So down at the bottom here, there are some color codes that you can use. So in this calendar, the dark blue is study time. Uh, sleep is right here, it's yellow, purple is commuting. So you can set up different colors for whatever other activities you have. But in this example, dark blue is the studying. So Peter is going to be studying from 9 a.m. to 11.30 and from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. every weekday. That's when he has dedicated time to studying. Now for other people, it's gonna be a lot different. It will depend on your work schedule, your class schedule, and other things you have going on. But with this calendar, you can really easily prioritize studying and commit to the time that you're going to spend studying. Next, we'll go on to the daily goals calendar. So this daily goals calendar gives you specific tasks to achieve each day. As you can see on, what is this, July 31st, Peter had to read to the end of section zero. In the previous day, he watched a video and he read the first half of section zero. Now, in this example, I just, I've said it to you that he will complete it by Tuesday. Usually, at first, when you just get the calendar, it will be blank and you can fill these out as you go. So once you complete this, you can just click completed and if you are unable to get to it for some reason that day, if something comes up, you can say, okay, I will do that by Wednesday, which would be the next day. And these tasks aren't so big that you couldn't do two of them on the same day. They're usually depending how far away your exam is, but I really try to give you a small chunk of stuff to do each day so that it's realistic for you and you can actually fit it into your life. So as you can see, all these are marked as complete and he's currently on August 24th. That task hasn't been completed yet. So right up to date, which is awesome to see. Next is the tracking tab. So I'm going to remove these for now. This just shows you, well, first we'll start over here. Each lesson you can assign a difficulty rating. So once you go through the lesson in your study materials, you can rate it on how difficult it is. And the ones that are easy, you probably don't need to spend much time on during your review days. But when you get to the harder lessons like this, you can select very hard and that will just give you some idea of which lessons you need to go back to later because they were hard for you. And then we move on to practice questions. And 
all this is broken out when you'll do these questions and everything in your daily goals calendar. So this is question block one. So on some day in the calendar, question block one will be assigned and he will do 15 practice problems. And so this is for SOA question number two. If he gets it right, he will mark right. And let's say he gets this one wrong and he does this for all these, let's just say, and then he gets it that last one wrong too. So he scored 47% on this fictional block of questions. As you can see before, it said, you're going to try to aim to get at least 50% correct. I give you specific goals that you should try to that you should try to achieve on each question block. In this one, unfortunately, he didn't quite reach the goal, so we're going to have to make sure that eventually he is getting up there and reaching the goals that I've assigned because that will really help to make sure that he's in a good place by exam day. And then down here, as you probably already know, I'm really big on redoing the questions that you get wrong. So he will go back to these questions that he got wrong so he got 29, 48, 67 wrong, and they are labeled right here, he will redo those questions. So that is all the tabs of the study strategy, and that's how it all works. I forgot to mention that this is all in a workbook called Google Sheets. You may be familiar with it, but whenever you make an update to it or whenever I update it, we can both see like instantaneous, instantaneously any changes. Every time you make a change, it saves, and then we can both see all the updates. So this is the very most current, up-to-date study strategy at all times. So sometimes I might go in here and, and realize that, okay, Peter needs to change what he does on this day. I could just change it. I could put the new task in here, and he'll be able to see that. It wouldn't make sense to do that for something he's already completed, so that was a bad example. But maybe for some reason, Peter has to do something on his break day. Review. I can change this, and Peter will be able to see that on Saturday. Unfortunately, he isn't in a good place right now, so he needs to do some review instead of have a break day on Saturday. I try not to take away break days, but sometimes it might be necessary. It's just what it takes to pass. So... That is how the study strategy workbook works. I hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes look in the study strategy program. There are so many awesome resources in there for you to utilize and just having me and the community of other people that are also in the program and my team is going to make a huge difference in your ability to pass. It'll just give you that upper edge or that advantage over everyone else that's trying to write these exams. You know, there are usually over 2,000 people writing exam P and FM every single sitting. So imagine having all this support and someone that has actually already written these exams and has helped so many other people pass. Imagine having that for yourself and just having the guidance that you need in order to pass. But before I go, I just wanted to mention two really awesome features of the study strategy program. First is that there is a 14 day trial period. So if you go sign up right now, hopefully, and you decide later that you don't really like it, it's not what you wanted, well, you can get all your money back because I don't want anyone to be in the program that doesn't want to be. So I do have this 14 week, sorry, 14 day trial where if you decide in the 14, first 14 days that you don't like it, I'll give you your money back and you don't lose anything. So it's worth a try. Just see if you like it. If you don't, you can get your money back. Second is the $225 pass guarantee. So if you are in the program for at least 14 weeks before your exam and you stay on track and don't fall more than seven days behind schedule, well, I have a pass guarantee where if you end up failing your exam, which I'm pretty sure you won't, but there's always the possibility, there's no guarantees, I will pay your next $225 exam registration fee. So that just means that when you go to rewrite your exam because you happen to fail the first time in the program, I will pay that fee for you and you won't have to worry about it. So I think that really eliminates a lot of risk for you because you can feel pretty confident that you'll pass and if you don't, then you still have that as a backup. 
Anyway, those are two awesome features I just wanted to share with you. So if you're interested, link is in the description and I will see you in the next video. Bye!